Hello mga ka-try! Welcome to episode 12 of Try Robotics. In this week's episode, we will control our K-12 robot with a smartphone. Are you ready? Let's try it! One of the best features of the K-12 robot is that it has external pins that would allow us to connect a communication device such as a UHF transceiver or a Bluetooth controller and doing that uh, would allow us to control our robot remotely. So tonight what we will be using is a, a Bluetooth device so that we would be, uh, we'll be able to control our K-12 robot using our smartphone. And we will be using this Android application called Bluetooth RC Controller. And uh, if you go to, as you can see from uh, this uh, RC Controller, it has uh, a lot of buttons. Uh, this one, if you press this, you will see the red arrow going up and that means it's moving forward and this is the reverse um, control and this one is the turn right control and this one is the turn left control another uh, function that we have is the headlight so when you press that the headlight will turn on and when you press that out uh, again uh, it will turn off and uh, as you can see when I press these uh, buttons uh, you see the the red arrow there uh, that's the that's the direction and here as well as here so what does this application do when I press these both buttons so uh, to know what it does let's go to settings uh, click on settings and down here we will see the command characters sent to the car so once we press the um, arrow up which means forward it will be sending a character letter F to the car and if we press the arrow down which is the reverse it will send a character letter B to the car and if we press left it will send a uh, letter L and we, if we press the right button it will uh, send a character letter R and then um, for the lights front lights on it will send a character letter W which is uppercase and to turn off the lights it will send a uh, small letter W and there's a lot more for example uh, you can have horns there uh, backlights and, uh, and, and there's a lot more but for now what we'll be using are the F the B L R and then big W and small W for controlling the motors of our K-12 robot as well as its headlight so there now that we know um, how the um, remote control app is behaving so what we will do is we will program our K-12 robot to receive those characters and then decide what we will do once those characters are received so to do that again uh, we'll, we have our um, Arduino and Ardublock open and let's once again go to uh, kbot block and let's get kbot.begin right there alright now uh, we will get the data from our Android application which is sending a data on the serial communication so uh, to do that let's get this if else if statement I'm sorry and then the test will be uh, if there is a serial data so let's click communication and let's get this one if there is a, a serial data available uh, what should we do of course we will read that uh, Bluetooth data so let's go here and get this one Bluetooth RC controller and as you can see it will uh, send that uh, Bluetooth data to a character letter T okay now the next thing that uh, we would like to do
do of course is interpret what the, the, the character that's being sent for example if a character F is sent to our robot what do we want to do so to do that let's once again get an if block let's place it here and then we will get this uh, this this value right so to do that let's get a connector here so we will get this uh, connector and then we will go to uh, communication once again and get a glue this one so sorry not this one this one yes uh, let's place it there and then let's go to k to 12 bot once again and we will get the set character t block okay because uh, when the Bluetooth RC controller uh, gets the data from the Android app, it will uh, send that to this uh, variable. And what are we expecting? So we're expecting a character, for example, let's start with letter F, which is forward. So to get that, let's go to variable constants and let's get this character block. All right, and let's replace it with the character letter F there. Now, once we receive a character letter F, what are we going to do? So we will uh, move the motor forward and 220 is fine. So that's it. When we uh, receive a character letter F, basically what we would like to do is move the motor forward so now let's uh, copy this to do the other functionalities for example so this is move forward now what if we receive a character letter s big s big s means stop so we will stop our motor there so the robot will stop and then let's uh, copy that once again and uh, uh, make a function for the reverse and uh, as you can remember reverse is B okay now let's uh, make another one for our uh, turn left and turn right and left is L and we will actually for, for, for a faster turning left we will use extreme left instead of turn left and let's do that for the uh, right turn as well and we'll replace the L with R and this will be extreme right there now that we have all the functionalities of the movement we have the forward we have the stop we have the reverse left and right now let's uh, uh, do the same with the headlights so let's clone it once again now as you can remember if uh, we want our headlights to turn on the, the character that will, that will be sent by our um, Android app will be big letter W and so we'll remove this one and let's go to K to 12 bot and get the keyboard LED and we'll change this to headlight left and we'll make that on and let's copy that uh, for the headlight right okay there all right so we are now able to turn on our headlights so if we receive a character letter small w so we will just turn this off so to do that let's just clone this block and all we need to do is replace the on uh, to off and of course let's not forget to replace it with small letter W that's it that's all we need to do to control our um, K-12 robot with the Android application so let's upload that to our robot
there so it's uh, it says done programming and now we are ready to test our program as you can see our Bluetooth receiver module is uh, placed on top of our K212 robot and uh, the uh, green light is blinking and while the red light is off which means that it's waiting for a connection from our Android uh, device so uh, let's now con open our Android application and we will now open the settings and we will click connect to car and we will search here the eGizmo Bluetooth Shield it might be different on your Bluetooth Shield it depends on its name but uh, my shield is eGizmo Bluetooth Shield and once that's connected you will see that the green light here will turn on and on the Bluetooth module the red light will be solid it will be turned on so now that it's connected to our car let's test and uh, let's see how it works so you see when I press on the arrow up the uh, robot moves forward there looks great right and when I press arrow down it uh, goes backward there forward and then if I press turn right of course it's uh, turning right and then if I press turn left it is now turning left great so backward and uh, let's test now the lights there turn on turn off and then well we can also test that the uh, light is constantly on while we are controlling our robot moving forward uh, turn right, reverse, forward again, and so on and so forth. Isn't that interesting? Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's uh, continue playing with it. That's it for tonight, Mayaka Try. Once again, uh, we would like to thank all our followers for supporting us and viewing our all the 12 episodes of Try Robotics. And since we've already learned everything that we need to know about our K-12 robot using the Arder Block, we would like to announce that this is the last episode of this season. So please watch out for our season 2 wherein we will be still using our K-12 robot but we will learn further using the C++ programming of Arduino. So if you would like to learn robotics using C++ programming or you have a bit of a background about Arduino then please join us on our next season as we will discuss how to program our K-12 robot using C++ and we'll also talk about some of the tips uh, on the C++ programming as well as uh, the Arduino and microcontroller programming in general. We also would like to thank our field robotics friends for your support as well as to eGizmo Mechatronic Central for allowing us to use the K-12 robot in our program. So once again from the team of Tri Robotics, thank you so much for joining us. Oh,